guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to another real estate video. Today, we're gonna to be taking a tour of this home right here, a brand new construction built by Colony Custom Homes. I wanna thank Nick Lures for allowing us to take a tour of this property. It is a five bedroom, three bathroom ranch style house with over 3,000 square feet for $535,000. It's a beautifully built home. I'm really excited about it to take you guys through it. But before we do, if you're even thinking about moving to the Omaha, the Bennington School District, or anywhere in the metro area, please reach out. We have people from all over the country and world that are always reaching out, guys, and I absolutely love it. So if you would like more information or you'd like to reach out, you can find our information down in the description. And without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this home. Overall, I'm liking the elevation that we're seeing so far. You got the cultured stone on the bottom and then you have cement board siding on the sides. You got nice curb appeal walking up to the home. Now, first and right off, you're gonna see my reflection because you got a ton of windows right when you walk up to the front door. Guys, I can't say how much I love this. A door that has windows, you got side windows on each side of the doorway. It just allows it's a, it's a slicker look, it's a more elegant feature, and it allows you to see who is at the front door. So right when you walk in, you have your entryway. You have your two bedrooms off to the right with a full bathroom for the guests and anybody that you're entertaining. And then off to the left, you're gonna have a farm style door that leads to your receiving room, your garage, your drop zone that you would have. So we're gonna take a look at this. You also have your laundry right next to your drop zone. So this is actually looks very, very nice. I can tell you right now, mine does not look this nice because when you got five kids, things don't stay clean. All right, so right up front, this is the windows you saw in the front. This is bedroom number one. This is about 11 by 11 square foot bedroom. It has a fan, it has its own closet, decent size. I do love how big the windows are in the front room. It just brings more light into the house. Here we have the full bathroom on the main floor. We have two on the main floor. This is the one for all the guests, right next to bedroom one and bedroom two. This is the same size as the first bedroom with a side window and its own closet as well. Now for the baseboards, it looks like we have six inch baseboards and for the doorways about four inches. I really like the larger floorboards along this, the Scandinavian style or it's basically a white oak luxury vinyl plank flooring. And this is where we go right into the main living space. You will spend about 90% of your time in these two rooms when you're inside the home. So you're really gonna have to love this space. And I do, it's beautiful. You got the custom cabinets. Now one thing I wish I would have seen is 42 inch cabinets, not 32 inch, but they, they're beautiful. We have the island, which is an, has an accent color for the ship lap, which is a sleek black. And then you have your walk-in pantry. I love this door. This door is great. I love the fogged, the glass that opens up into the pantry area. Now, when I look at pantry areas, the one thing that I really want to see is outlets. And they have an outlet right behind this microwave so that you can keep your appliances out of sight, keeping your countertops looking fresh. Gas fireplace and a nice island. I really do like how the sink is against the window and it leaves the island for entertaining and putting platters or whatever you want. It's just not gonna be full of dirty dishes. And from the island, we look right into the living area. You're gonna see how the island matches the fireplace. We have shiplap floor to ceiling and a six foot wide fireplace that's over there. This is the Exarbon floor plan right here. They have 
several other styles that they actually build. If you guys are interested or would like to see any of these different floor plans, leave a comment below this video. I'm sure they wouldn't mind getting more exposure of their properties. And I'm so far, I'm liking their product. I like their style. One thing that I'll note that I really liked and shows me they have paid attention to detail is look at the cladding of the windows. All the windows have black cladding, which matches the fireplace, the island, the hood vent, the spindles. It really is matching and it creates that character that you want to see in a home. I love the vaulted ceilings right here. All the other ceilings that aren't vaulted, these are nine foot ceilings, so really spacious, really wide and high. You do have your sit-in dining area, which will fit about six to eight people comfortably. And then we have our sliding glass door that goes out to our covered deck. This deck actually does not have steps down to the backyard. If you wanted to install steps, it would cost you about $9,000 to put steps that go down. My only other thought so far that I'll note is I love the white walls. I've seen too much grays, gray walls, white trim, that I'm really loving the matching trim floorboards to the walls. I just think it looks cleaner, more open, and more inviting. Here's the master bedroom. Nine foot ceilings, it's about 15 by 15. I really love this master window. It brings a huge amount of light into this living space and they do also open so you can get actually nice fresh air into your home. This leads us into the master ensuite and as right away they're keeping with the same sleek black look for the vanities, the white countertops, as well as I love the character they have for the, wind, for the mirrors and for the light fixtures. When we look into the walk-in shower, walk-in shower has a riverbed rock for the floor and it's ceramic tile from floor to ceiling here. They do have built-ins right there. One thing that I will say about this, it's a personal preference. I would prefer to have a door right here, just a glass door. I like my showers nice, hot, and steamy, and this will just a lot more air and it won't get as warm in that shower but that's just a personal preference. Initially, I would say I feel that this vanity is so large, it makes this space a little bit smaller than, it, than it, I think it should be, but it's still functional. You're not gonna be running into your spouse if you, they do have his and hers. They also have a, it's a separate toilet area and then pocket doors right here that go right into the master closet. Master closet has a doorway that will take us back to the entry or the drop zone area. The door does lock, which makes it really convenient when we're looking at laundry. Practicality, there's where your laundry will sit and it's right off the master closet. So you can just take your clothes right around the corner. I would have loved to see a little more built-ins for the master closet, but this definitely does work. It looks really nice as well. That's the main level, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look down into the basement and let's see what we can see down there. One thing I'll note right away, just for practical living, there is no door right here. It doesn't make it wrong, but if you wanted to bring separation to what's going on in the basement, to what's upstairs, having a door down here will cut down on the noise tremendously. But with that said, this is beautiful. You have a wet bar that is beautifully designed. I love how the tile is right around the wet bar area and the door so when people are coming in, we're not dirtying our carpets. We got plenty of light with plenty of windows. And this is your wall that you're probably going to put either a projection on or you're going to put a large flat screen right there. Nice and big. I really like the way this basement feels. It doesn't feel like a basement. It feels like another living space. And that is the benefit of having walkout basements. 
you just will use it significantly more compared to not having these windows or doors right here. It just makes it much more inviting. So we have two hallways down this hall. We have a storage unit here. We have our utility room here. And then we have a bonus room right here. It does not have any windows, but it is a nice big space. You could use this for a workout area, a craft room, a reading area, man cave. It does have cabling here for a TV. So this could be separate from the other living space. Now down this hall, we have two more bedrooms. We have bedroom three right here with an egress window. This room is a little bit bigger than the upstairs room. It's probably about 13 by 12. Decent size. Typically in the basement, you wanna see bedrooms bigger because if you don't make them bigger, they feel really small because basements typically have large open areas. This is another full bathroom. So that makes the third bathroom out of in this home and all of them have a full bathroom, meaning there's a tub and shower, you have your vanity. So it has some open space in here. You could put some other uh, built-ins or other decorations right here for more towels, uh, for a linen closet there is not a linen closet down here and then this is bedroom number five i believe i said three on the last one it should have been four i really like this one you got your window that looks out into the backyard right off the ground so it's nice and open brings lots of light in here as well and there you have it guys. This is the Exarbin floor plan. It has about 3,000 square feet, about $535,000. Now we do property tours like this and informational videos on the Omaha metro area. So if you've ever thought about making a move, please reach out. We have people from all over the country and world that are always reaching out guys. And I just love it. I love working with people from all over the country and the world. And we wanna be your boots on the ground here in the Omaha metro area. So whether you're looking to buy a home or just have questions about potentially moving to the area, please reach out guys. We would love to hear from you. And if you'd like to see more videos like this one where we're touring new construction, touring other homes, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a comment below this video. And guys, thanks for watching. Love you all. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.